All right, so let's suppose we had number 19 out of 2.2, which asks us to algebraically find the domain and range for the function m of q is 1 fifth q minus 4. Okay. Kindergarten. <laughs> All right, so what do I do with this? How do I find the domain and range? What am I looking for? Anything that doesn't work. Okay, I'm looking right for domain things. Right? I'm looking for things you're not allowed to map with, right? Mm -hmm. So if I put, think about putting a Q in here, are there any Qs that I'm not allowed to multiply by 1 over 5? No. No. 1 over 5 is totally allowed. Are there any 1 over 5 Qs that I'm not allowed to subtract 4 from? Okay. No problems. The domain is Team Rocket R. <coughs> all real numbers. Okay. What's the range? This one is a bit harder to figure out. I'll just break it at least. How about a thought on the character of M of Q? It's a line. It's a lot. Right? You guys all recognize that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's a line, is it horizontal or vertical or regular? <coughs> yeah, it's got a slope that's not zero, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it goes up some, so it looks probably like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I smash this way, I get the domain. That's all of R. Cool. And if I smash this way? We get it again, all of R. Is that algebraically, or is that just kind of like thinking? Of <laughs> I don't know. It's a good question. So here's a more algebraic approach. How about that? So what if we did, say I had an output. I'm just going to call that output M for kicks. That output's 1 fifth Q minus 4, right? And so now I'm looking, I'm wondering, are there any M's I can't get out of this thing? You guys see that? So one way to figure out if I can't get out M out is to try to solve for Q and just see if there are any problems that arise. So here, what's my first step to solve for Q? I'm going to add 4. Okay, so I'm going to get m plus 4 is 1 fifth q, then what? Then I'm going to multiply by 5. So I'm going to get 5 times m plus 4, that's q, right? Okay. I think I'm pretty much allowed to take any number, add 4, and multiply by 5, right? So... Yeah, the range has got to be all at R. That's really me doing a shady thing. So the shady thing I just did to you is this business here, right? What's that thing? Yeah, I've just been telling you that's the in. Uh, I'm really calling that F inverse, and it's what's this thing's name? M minus two. Yeah, this is M inverse, right? You guys see that? It's really phrased a bit confusingly here. Like this guy's not phrased super nicely, but this guy is, right? You just, if you want to execute M inverse to something, you add 4 and then multiply by 5. You guys cool with that? Okay, so that inverse function has domain all of R. And so because I was able to construct an inverse function, the domain of the inverse is the range of the forward function. Can you say that again? Okay. Right? That's me looking at the bubble diagram. So here I have like Q land, right? And I have this function M that takes Q land to M land. Right? This thing here, assuming it exists, would be M inverse, right? 
So M inverse takes the range of M. You guys see that? Right, this thing starts where that thing ends. So the domain of this guy and the range of that guy had better be the same thing. You need to be a little careful with this technique. I'm saying this like there aren't any problems with it. And when we solve, we sometimes do things that aren't functions in our solving steps. So we have to be really careful with that. Cool. Like, yeah, I wouldn't be allowed to square root here and make this statement. Because I need that plus or minus, and then this whole business wouldn't be a function. But so when you can solve, this will work. The domain of the, of the inverse has to equal the domain of the regular. Instant. The domain of the inverse is the range of the regular. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, so this domain is really of M, right? That's a, and and yeah. that thing is the range of M inverse. And the range of M is the domain of M inverse. Really, it's just the bubble diagram goes backwards, right? You guys see that? Be really careful with that. You guys know how to solve more things that are really fun.